Good evening, Internet Space Cadets. I'm Alexa, resident Hookie Spooky Girly. And goodness gracious, space must really be the new frontier since it feels like that's kind of most of what I talk about these days. I can't say I was ever like a space expert growing up, minus being devastated when Pluto was declassified from being an official planet to being a dwarf planet. I will never get over that. Question for y'all though, what's your favorite space fun fact? Right now, mine is that in 2019, NASA discovered the uh, Star Trek logo just chilling on the moon. It was spotted in a dune on the red planet by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. I never get that word right, I swear I try. Which has been scanning the surface since 2006. And yes, William Shatner did take a dig at Star Wars with a tweet referencing the photo. Let me know in the comments what your favorite space fact is. Also stay tuned until the end of today's video for a special edition of comment shoutouts. And before I forget, welcome to the top 5 unexplained things seen by Mars rovers. Number 5, the face of Mars. So it all started back in 1976 when NASA released an image of an interesting mountain on Mars taken by the Viking 1 spacecraft, complete with a caption that described the formation as appearing to have eyes and nostrils. More than 30 years later, the face on Mars still inspires many myths and conspiracy theories, which is why we're here, with many people believing it to be an artificial structure built by an ancient Martian civilization. From a bird's eye view, shadows on the mountain really do make it look like a face. From other angles, however, seen in photos taken by the Mars Express Orbiter and other spacecrafts, the mountain is clearly just that, and doesn't look much like a face at all. Hmm. So. Once again, this all started back in the 1970s, when the 3 km knob, nestled at 10 degrees north and 40 degrees west, sparked wild speculations of the old civilization. Like, if you're looking at the thing, how do you not see a face? Seriously, I was looking at pictures for like an hour being like, yeah, I see a face, I don't know how you could not see the face. But science, ever the voice of reason, apparently had other explanations in mind. Go science. The Mars Orbiter camera from the Mars Global Surveyor spacecraft offered us a much closer look, revealing that this intriguing feature isn't a sculpted visage, but rather a product of natural geological processes. Wind and, you know, the good old force of gravity carved out the slopes and ridges on this Martian face. Yeah, sure, science can say what science wants to say, but I don't know, I think otherwise. Yes, our minds do have a knack for identifying familiar faces and patterns, which is a phenomenon known as pareidolia. We tend to see faces in the moon, camels in the desert mountains, and even stories of rocks and Mars. The human imagination has no bounds. But the Martian landscape, however, is a geologist paradise, a canvas sculpted by eons of erosion. Well, these hills and knobs might, you know, be interesting, geologists know what they're talking about. Or do they? The peculiar flat ledges partway up these slopes consist of rock layers that resisted the erosion's relentless assault. On the contrary though, less resilient layers have surrendered to time and the elements, leaving behind some pretty intriguing outcrops. Yet, amid the understood lies the unknown. The Martian terrain holds deposits of material, curiously concentrated on the cold north facing slopes of these hills. So, sure geologists have their answers, but I want to know, how did they get there? Was it a mixture of Martian soil and ice pasted onto these slopes by natural forces, or did an upper layer of material slowly creep downslope? You know, a product of ice driven movement. Ground ice may have played the role of preserver rather than eroder, locking in the history of these mysterious deposits. In the end, you know, Mars continues to unravel its secrets, inviting us to probe deeper, and like, I don't know. Geologists may know what they're talking about, but I feel like there's something more. Number four, bone rock. All right, mark one up for the funny bone file. Once again, the mysteries of Mars kind of captivate our imaginations, have been for years, and now uh, take for instance the peculiar rock that the Curiosity rover captured back in 2014, which had an uncanny resemblance to a human femur bone. That's your femur, right? It's the stuff of science fiction. Scientists, though, always ready to cast rational explanations on such anomalies, chalked it up once again to erosion, possibly wind or water. They've always got like an easy explanation though. The idea of human remains on Mars is exhilarating, and hey, if NASA ever stumbled upon such a discovery, eh, the world might hear from the rooftops or it might be covered up. So here's where the intrigue deepens. Even today, there's reports circulating of the femur object, just that's hanging out on the Martian surface. That's gonna constantly reignite our fascination with the idea of Martians. Yes, this image is resurfacing from when, you know, NASA was like, oh hey, no, 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 aliens don't exist. Sure, NASA. I think that's what they want us to think. The history of Mars exploration suggests that the planet likely never had the conditions to support complex organisms due to the lack of sufficient oxygen. What we're experiencing when we see familiar shapes in objects like this bone on Mars is pareidolia, a quirk of our brains that involuntarily identifies patterns and shapes in visual data. Despite Mars' ancient watery past, scientists have yet to uncover any substantial evidence of complex life on the planet. Or that's what we think. Like, I think otherwise. We've seen them cover things up, they've done it with UFOs for years, now they finally admit UFOs are real and we're like, yeah, we've been known, you've just been covering it up. Number 3, a door to life. Knock knock. Who's there? Nobody. 
You know what I'd love? Definitive proof of alien life on Mars. Give me tentacle monsters and a civilization of aliens living in underground bunkers. Make my sci-fi fantasies come true. A recent NASA Curiosity rover, you know, image of an odd rock formation on the planet has led to fun speculation, but is it proof of alien activity? So a mosaic view of a Mars formation, as seen by said rover, puts the doorway in Gale Crater into context. So if you see like a red circle near the top of the door, it's a shadowy angular opening that is kind of small, but apparently it's a natural geologic feature. This image from May 7th of 2022 apparently doesn't show an actual doorway on Mars, but I think otherwise. The doorway-like appearance in a cliffside snapped, you know, in May, is due apparently to the angles of light and shadow and shapes made by the geology in this area of the crater. Yeah, okay. UFO debunker UFO of interest tackled the image of, you know, what looks like it, by sharing a broader look at the landscape. Watching it in context as a part of the whole mosaic, we can see that the little niche in a rock with other blocks, fractures, shapes, and other erosive features are all over that rock face. <sighs> Here's the thing. Mars images can be tricky. We know this. Heck, all images can be tricky. Have you ever tried to take a picture of the night sky and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get it perfect, and then it's just a blob? A fungally eroded rock can look like a fish. A backlit cliff can look like the profile of a face. Prop photos and zoomed in views can and make tiny features seem large. The doorway might be completely unremarkable if the shadows happen to be falling at a different angle. Now, I'm not here to deter the joy at finding weird cheap rocks and landscape features on Mars. We should absolutely revel in, you know, like butt cracks and zen gardens and whimsical arches. But perhaps what's most magical is that we have a wheeled robot just hanging around, you know, giving us pictures. Oh, I still think they're covering things up. Who is with me? Let me know in the comments because I think I'm right. Number two, a volcanic site. Mars has quite the volcanic past, and there's been quite a few questions whether it's been, you know, volcanically active more recently in history. For reference, Mars was a hotspot around three to four billion years ago, so a long time. Our research team has suggested a mysterious dark deposit seen recently, though, could be evidence of an explosive volcanic deposit from within the last 50,000 years. Now, for size, the deposit covers an area slightly larger than Washington, D.C. The discovery could have implications for finding signs of microbial life on the planet. The Planetary Science Institute, or PSI, research scientist David Horvath is the lead author of the paper Evidence for Geologically Recent Explosive Volcanism in Elysium Planitia, Mars, in the journal Icarus. The paper zeroes in on a spot on the Elysium Planitia region of Mars in what Horvath called a mysterious dark deposit. Yeah, we know what it's covering. In a statement, the deposit, which appears to be a thin layer of ash and rock, is along a fissure. The team used data and imagery from Mars spacecrafts to support the idea of a volcanic origin for the feature, though there are questions around how it came to be. Sustaining magma near the surface of Mars so late in Mars history with no associated lava flows would be difficult, and thus a deeper magmatic source would likely be required to create this eruption. Researchers have seen signs of smaller eruptions dating to around 3 million years ago, but this new spot would shake up the timeline considerably. Even though like 50,000 years ago might not sound recent in human terms, like Horvath puts it into perspective. If we were to compress Mars geologic history into a single day, this would have occurred in the very last second. So all of this has implications for one of our biggest questions about Mars. Was it habitable? Something I've been asking all day. The interaction of ascending magma and the icy substrate of this region could have provided favorable conditions for microbial life fairly recently and raises the possibility of extant life in this region. Hey, Mars is full of scientific surprises, and this isn't the first suggestion that the red planet might be hiding some volcanic secrets. A paper in 2019 suggested that a hidden lake under the southern ice cap could be heated by an underground magma chamber. Hey, between the quakes and the potential volcanic activity, Mars might be a busier place than it seems. All this data seems to be telling the same story. Mars is not dead. What have I been saying all day today? There is something up there. I know it. They're just good at hiding it, which, like, I don't blame them. Humanity's kind of in a weird place right now. Number one, weird circles. So when opportunity, you know, that uh, good old Mars rover sent back an image of a rock outcrop known as Kirkwood, it was a sight to behold. The photograph revealed a striking landscape adorned with an array of small spherical objects akin to blister-like bumps scattered across the Martian terrain. To the untrained eye, these formations might resemble the blueberries observed by opportunity back in 2004, but as scientists dug deeper, they realized that these formations held a mysterious secret. The spherical objects in Kirkwood, although reminiscent of the iconic blueberries, differ significantly in their composition and structure. The blueberries were iron rich and contained a crucial clue about Mars' wet past, with hematite deposits suggesting ancient water saturation in the bedrock. The Kirkwood spheres, although in contrast, lack the iron rich content of the blueberries, and they exhibit variations in concentration, distribution, and internal structure. Some have even partially eroded, unveiling concentric internal layers. The sheer density of these spherical objects at Kirkwood makes it a particularly perplexing sight. Opportunity's scientific team was left scratching their heads, pondering the mysteries hidden within these Martian formations. The 
enigma lies in what story these fears could tell about the ancient Martian environment. Opportunity and its sibling rover Spirit embarked on their Martian journeys in 2003 by the way, originally slated for like a mere 3 month mission. However both rovers exceeded expectations and carried out extended missions for years. They made groundbreaking discoveries about ancient wet environments on Mars. You know, environments that could have been conducive to microbial life. Yet Kirkwood remains a curiosity, a compelling puzzle that beckons further exploration. It's one of those extraordinary images that leaves scientists and space enthusiasts alike, you know, eager to uncover the secrets it holds. These Martian landscapes continue to rewrite our understanding of the red planet's history and what they might reveal about the potential for life beyond our home planet. And that brings us to the end of our time, and you know what that means, time for some common shout out. To kick us off, from mysterious UFO footage NASA can no longer ignore part 2, user DRA741 said, I'll tell you one thing, since they're flying around it's only a matter of time before we meet them on the ground, and I think we are definitely going to meet them face to face. Don't panic, but the level of their activity now, they're definitely touching down and walking around now. If I was the alien I would do it, even though they know we're crazy and we kaboom everything. Hey look, I'm not opposed to meeting an alien. And from top 5 ogres from folklore that actually exist, user Mark Sordal8872 asked, How do you distinguish between an ogre and a Bigfoot? Is it a matter of semantics? In my kind of expert opinion, Bigfoot tends to be a lot hairier. But hey, let me know if anyone knows better than I do in the comments. If you enjoyed my ramblings today, could you help us out by giving this video a like, subscribing if you aren't already, hit the bell for more out of this world content from us here at Top 5 Scary Videos, and I'll see you all next time you lovely spooky people.